what is Islam. Now, one, one time the Prophet وسلم, was sitting with his companions as Umar narrated of Allah an, a man walked in who had a very dark black hair and a very white bright cloth and he didn't seem he had a journey was traveling and none, none of us knew him that's what Umar al was saying he sat next to the Prophet والسلام, with his knees against the knees of the Prophet والسلام, and his hands on his sides and he said oh Muhammad tell me what is Islam and the Prophet والسلام, he said Al-Islam, and tashhadu an la ilaha illallah. You bear witness there is no God who deserves to be worshipped except Allah. There are many gods, but the only one who really, the true, the one who deserves to be worshipped is Allah. Wa anna Muhammad al-Rasulullah. And Muhammad is the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who was delivering the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to mankind and jinkind. And to perform a salah, prayer, five times a day. And to pay... Zakah, charity, whatever you want to call it, it's an amount of two and a half percent of whatever savings you have or any business that you're running annually, once a year pass by, and you don't have to pay it to anyone except to the poor. You don't have to pay it to a government or, or an organization. Just go directly to a poor person, the needy person, and give it to them. Fast the month of Ramadan, a 30 or 29 days a year, which is one month called Ramadan, and perform Hajj, which is going to Mecca for pilgrimage, pilgrimage once in your life, if you are capable, physically and financially. So that is Islam. That is the <clears throat> broad lines of Islam. <clears throat> okay, that's the high level of definition of Islam. But once you take each of these five pillars, there are so much details under these five pillars of Islam. When you say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, bear witness there is no God who deserves worship except Allah. It means you have to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his names, his attributes. You worship none except him. You pray to none except him. You supplicate only him. You fear only him. And, and the list goes on and on and on. And when you say, an Muhammad Rasulullah, that you have to believe that Muhammad is a human being <laughs> that Allah has chosen among his creation, his people, to deliver his message. We have to obey him. We have to obey his commands and follow him. Because as Brother Sam was saying a few minutes ago, that Muhammad came to deeply explain <coughs> what our duties toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have prescribed on us. Same as the salah. Perform five salah, five prayers a day. Now you have to know the pillars the conditions and the obligations of a salah in order to perform it and also for zakah and for fasting and for hajj. That means if, if we will go deeply, if we will back to talk about salat, zakat, and fast, but I mean in general the message of Islam to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and nothing beside Allah and nothing other than Allah. So that's, that's, that's the, the, the <laughs> most important point here because there is some, some, some borderline for any human being to be in, to be in Islam, and that is to bear witness that there is no God who deserves to worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and Muhammad is a messenger of Allah, and avoid anything that will get you out of this line. Other than that, any human being can commit sins, but Allah can forgive him. Maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But he's still a Muslim. He's still a Muslim. Okay, so it's, that's, that's the main line here that you have to follow in order to be a Muslim. Yeah.